with the lordotic posture, we needed to go after the hip flexors, abs, and hamstrings. The hip flexor stretches were shown in the kyphotic lordotic video, so check back there for those. For now, we're going to move on to an ab and a hamstring exercise that you can do to help bring you out of your lordosis. The abdominal exercise, called the dead bug, is almost entirely dependent on keeping your low back flat to the ground. All we're doing from there is extending one arm back as we extend the opposite leg forward. Notice the range of motion is pretty small. If you go out too far, you will have a higher susceptibility to arching that low back. You will see that basic motion is being repeated by alternating from side to side. This exercise that we're about to do is going to be working the hamstrings and the backs of the upper legs. In a lordotic posture, the hip flexors dominate the hamstrings, so we have to do something to bring them up to par. So we're going to have the dumbbells right in front, hands facing you with good posture, bending your knees slightly. Start by pushing the hips and butt back, letting the dumbbells travel right along your legs. You'll notice that the back is staying flat and the knees are maintaining their initial bend. One of the biggest errors we see with this movement is that it turns into more of a squat, so be mindful of that. On the way up, drive through the heels and glutes back to the starting position, making sure to contract the glutes hard at the top. And on a side note, if you don't like the name Romanian deadlift, a couple of clients of mine came up with the term bend and snaps from the Legally Blonde movie. It at least probably gives you a more visual image of what happens in this movement. Thank you for taking the time to check out this video. You now have the tools to combat your lordotic posture and live a healthier life. If you are viewing this through YouTube, make sure to click on the link beneath the video to go to our site, personallyfitdayton.com, and see the accompanying article, What Kind of Posture Do You Have? Part 2. As always, you can contact us with questions and comments at personallyfitdayton at gmail.com to find out how we can help you experience your fitness potential. This is Casey Esser, signing off.